with us. We have a health alert to all parents, uh, especially for children before they head to the library. We're learning the Mesa Public Library actually has been treated for bed bugs, of all things. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang is live there now with what you need to know. And Kimberly, I know you talked to a lot of people at the library and that this is really kind of a reminder for everyone that bud bed bugs can travel anywhere. Right, Connie, bed bugs are known to hitchhike on our things. When's the last time that you've been to a public place and maybe put your purse or your backpack down on the floor? Well, you may want to think twice before doing that again. That's really gross, and I wouldn't want my children to carry it home. That's the reaction as Mesa Public Library visitors discovered bed bugs were found here this past week. A spokesperson for the city says they were on chairs in the computer tech section and upstairs in a reading space. You know, I'm going to be a little bit more um, careful where I put my things because I don't want our family being exposed to that. Bed bugs can travel on your things. They've been found in major cities around the country. In Norman, Oklahoma, a library was shut down this past week to treat bed bugs. According to Terminex, Phoenix Metro has a high bed bug threat based on rising reports. Whenever you have a public area, even at nicer hotels, at big libraries, when there's a lot of public that use it, you have this kind of thing that happens. Steve Wright with the City of Mesa says the library threw out infested chairs and had the rest of the library checked. The next step, fabric chairs will be replaced with plastic ones, a cost of $15,000, money that the city has already budgeted for. I mean, it's a very... <laughs> often visited place so um, it would make sense that you know a place like this would have it. If you and your family visit public places, here's some advice from pest experts on how to protect yourself. First, don't put your bags, luggage, purses on the floor or on furniture. Also, check for small brown spots and blood smears. Those are signs of bed bugs. And always wash your clothes after they come out of your luggage and after you visited a public place. And Connie, I spoke with the library yesterday. They reassure me that this bed bug problem has been treated. But of course, the question is, could they come back again? So the library says they're going to do periodic checks of the library. They also brought in bed bug sniffing dogs to check the library, and it has been cleared. It is open for business as usual. Who knew there were even bed bug sniffing dogs? That's amazing. Kimberly Chang, live for us in Mesa with everything you need to know to keep your family safe this morning. Thank you.